Alright, y'all get this. I will show you where the home is. There we go. Alright, what's up, y'all? 103 minutes. We go, we're gonna go ahead and get this in right now. What's up, y'all? Shalom. We coming out here in the name of Yahweh by some Yahweh side. We're going to the kitchen. Uh, double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. We're walking down West Brown. We're going to the We're just about to drop all kinds of truth and all kinds of knowledge. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what we do. And so, what we're going to do today is we're going to talk all kinds of shit. I we're gonna we're gonna uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna talk down, shit about that. What's that dude's name, bro? Polite, Sarah Supersetti, Saad Netter, and all these old these Egyptian motherfuckers. Saad nigga, all these Egyptian motherfuckers, man. We gonna we, through the spirit of the Lord, we about to fuck y'all motherfuckers up, man. Saad nigga, brother Polite, brother Polite, well, you you Polite, well we rude, we some we polluted. He polluted. He calls himself polite, well we ain't polite. We some rude motherfuckers, okay? We come rude, but we come raw and uncut with it. You know what I'm saying? Rude in speech. Y'all see the video? No, go ahead. Watch our back up. Y'all see the video with the elder when he put up um Game of Wayans? Oh yeah. <laughs> He's like, well, yeah, but the mother. Yeah. <laughs> so That's how I do. He's a joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that dude. Triangular, statistical too. Yeah, that dude. That dude polite. He wearing fez on his head. Y'all know what a fez is? A fez, that's some shit that goddamn Ottomans wore. That, the same thing you see the Shriners wear, the Freemasons. The Freemasons, they wear a fez on their head. That's that funny looking hat. They wear a little, who the fuck gonna wear a hat? First of all, this dude Polite wearing a little funny ass looking hat on his head all the goddamn time. You could not pay me to wear no motherfucking hat like that, bro. You look goddamn retarded with, the, with that funny ass little hat on your head. Only a motherfucking retard would wear some shit like that. And then if he he be painting an eye of Horus on his eye. You know what I'm saying? He probably like to wear eye, eyeliner too with glitter. You know what I'm saying? He probably wear glitter too like a little girl. Oh, is that what he does? Like a brony. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was a tattoo at first, but he paints it. He be painting an eye of Horus on his eye. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like something a girl would do. You painting your face up. I'm putting my mascara and lipstick and shit, man. You might as well. The Lord said, the Bible said, don't print no marks upon your skin. Okay. I'll go ahead. This is Leviticus 19. You, you ain't even supposed to. Not only, you ain't supposed to get no tattoos. Not only that, but you's not even supposed to write on yourself. Not even with an ink pen. You ain't supposed to do that either. You ain't supposed to be painting your shit up on war paint and shit. Go ahead with that. This is Leviticus 19 and uh, 28. You should not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. I gotta go to Go ahead with that. You should not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. Are you good? Nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. That cuts all these fools out here, they get tattoo tattoos. You ain't supposed to get no goddamn tattoo. Okay, you think you a gangster? Like Tupac had a big ass cross on his back. Well, if you love the Lord so much, you know you ain't supposed to get a tattoo, you stupid motherfucker. That's why Tupac got shot. Suge Knight shot his ass. Now, he, now his ass is dead. He ain't speaking no more. He ain't rapping no more. And he ain't coming back. The seven day theory was untrue. You know what I'm saying? He ain't rise after seven days, after seven years. Tupac ain't never came back. He ain't never coming back. Actually, he'll come back in the reincarnation. Tupac probably a little baby right now running around talking shit. You know what I'm saying? He probably, he might even get the truth this time around, hopefully. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord put his ass to death. Oh, go ahead with that. Hey, check this out. I know this nigga, man. This Benjamin nigga. He's, uh, he goes to the mosque, part of the nation of, uh, the no nation of Islam. And uh, he has his whole back covered with uh, with Mary, Simiramis. His whole entire back covered with that bitch, man. Damn. His whole entire back, man. And this motherfucker goes to the mosque, you know, talking that Allah shit. Oh, we don't hear about no Allah. We got Mary on his back. We got Mary. Well, it's the same doctrine though, cause in the book of in the Quran, they got an actual book in there called Maryam, and that's where the cat. That's where uh, that's where they got that that doctrine from, you know, the Catholic Church. Oh, let's get back to them. Uh, the, the nation of Islam. Let's make sure we get on these Egyptian motherfuckers though. So what you got? Romans. Um, this is Romans 16 and 17. Oh, uh, we did. Um, now I beseech you, brethren. 
mark them which cause divisions. Oh yeah, them Egyptian motherfuckers, they cause, first of all, they look at me, they're like, look at this crack ass cracker. We got this crack ass motherfucker come out here trying to tell me something, this goddamn cracker. Well, first of all, you can't just take all white people and just throw them all in one group. Like, they, they go, all these is crackers right here. We're going to tell all these white skin is all crackers. They're all devils and crackers. Well, the, the elders already trying to break it down to these, to these idiots that uh, Israel scattered and ain't going to all look the same. And uh, they, didn't, they didn't get it then. They're not going to get it now. Well, fuck you, mother. I don't you give a fuck if you can get it or not, question. okay? Because you ain't going to say I'm the same as them Jew motherfuckers. That's for goddamn sure. They all gonna be destroyed, man. Y'all, y'all non-spiritual ass motherfuckers, man. Just Go ahead with that. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned. Oh, so them Egypt Egyptologists, they ain't teaching the doctrine that we had learned. They say the Lord is a fairy tale. They say the Bible ain't true. Okay? So they're not even, they're not teaching the truth. They, 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 under, they under the same vibration as the Freemasons. And the Freemasons teach that teach that Egypt shit to the Egyptology. And it, what's your boy Poe like? They got he got videos pretty much saying he's a Freemason on YouTube. And that dude Saren Superseti, he a Freemason. Hey, did you see the uh, the uh, the party? No. Did you see the gathering they had? It was a festival they had, and it went it, it, it was nothing but a Freemason party. And Ice T was got, there. Ice Cube was there. What? And to be yeah, a Freemason, it was a Freemason party. And to be a Freemason, you gotta go through a whole demonic ceremony. Mm -hmm. And first of all, the so-called Jew Freemasonry is based upon the Kabbalah. Even Albert Pike said that the Freemasons based upon the Kabbalah. And all them so-called Jews that come from the goddamn Khazarian Empire, they the ones who started that Freemason shit. So you motherfuckers saying suit and seti and uh polite and all these other motherfuckers, y'all just some goddamn Freemasons. Y'all down with them so-called Jews. You yeah, down with this not ready. You down with the uh the synagogue of motherfucking Satan. That's who y'all down man. with. Yeah, y'all down with Satan. Y'all worship the damn devil. Revelation. Go ahead. Mark Gill, which caused divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrines which he has learned and avoid them. Yeah, we're supposed to avoid motherfuckers like y'all. We're gonna curse y'all out, then we're gonna avoid you. You know what I'm saying? Cause y'all y'all got y'all don't profit. You know what I'm saying? We're the real prophets, okay? And we do profit. Because we get the real riches from the most high, that's his knowledge. Okay? Cause that's funny how the word profit sounds the same as the word profit, you know what I'm saying? Because we got the riches. Woo! For they that are such serve not our Lord Yahweh Shai, but their own belly. Cause this is so they're only doing it for money. You uh, know yeah. when they going those fucking uh, uh when they going through those halls and those um whatever they go where they uh these halls where they go gather and uh, have their uh, so-called debates. They charge emission for these places, you know, and only a fool want to pay to get up in that shit. You know, that's what I was in before I woke up into this truth. I was around a lot of them Egyptology niggas, man. I know what they all about. And when you're around them, ain't no brotherhoods, ain't no brotherly shit going on anyway. Hell no, they just talking that They looking to profit. They're all, all of them are looking to profit. Hey, uh -huh. can I ask you, you people alone, question? Man. Yeah, let's go, we gotta, get, we gotta be in the spirit. For they that are such serve not our Lord, Yahweh Shai, but their own belly, and by good words, yeah, brother, that's why that brother polite. He's always saying you can't blame nobody. It, it, you know what I'm saying? It, that dude's a big. He's a big loser, man. It'd be a fucking cap and save a hoe is what he is. Oh, for the woman, there's God. They teach that shit. Woman is their God. Yeah, just a big man, please. You know, he's a demagogue. That's what you call a demagogue. You know what a demagogue is? It's somebody who uh. Who speak, he only speaks according to people's ignorance. They know everybody's ignorant and everybody's retarded and they take advantage of it. You know what I'm saying? And they play on people's ignorance. That's what they do. Go ahead with that. And by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. Yeah, so they be, give, you know what I'm saying? They giving their retarded ass speeches. They be trying to use big old giant, uh, you know, $5 million words. And they, they, man, it really, you sound retarded as hell. Okay, you sound stupid because you ain't got no truth. Talking about an Egypt how if you think you from goddamn Egypt, you ain't got no truth. Now, first of all, if you play, this go to Sarah Suit Seti and Polite and all these other motherfuckers, man. If you claim to be an Egyptian, I got a question for you. If you claim to be a motherfucking Egyptian, are you or are you not married to your sister? Okay, if you. Ask me, answer me a question. If you claim to be a motherfucking pharaoh, 
Are you married to your sister? Because all the pharaohs were married to their sister, every last one of them. Not just, not just, not just one pharaoh was married to his sister. Every last single pharaoh was married to his sister. That was the custom. That was the law in Egypt. The pharaoh had to marry his sister. They said, because they had it, that, 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 that blood was divine. That's the same thing the Queen of England does. That's the same, you know what I'm saying? You know, with Prince Charles and all them inbreeding motherfuckers? The breed, that's what they they, they're inbreeders. Just like that. Where well, you think they got it from? They got that shit from Egypt. You know what I'm saying? Because that, that's a fact. You can look it up. You can get on any encyclopedia. You can get on any website. You can look it up. It's a fact. All the pharaohs married their sister. Okay? And some of them even married their mother. Okay? But y'all claim to be a goddamn Egyptian and a motherfucking pharaoh. I they, they do that shit just so the dumb simple woman won't take the part of the wealth out the family. It's just keep the wealth in the family. That's why a lot of the pharaohs were deformed. They were retarded. They have birth defects. You know what I'm saying? They come out looking like an alien. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, long ass face. Me, yeah. I got a scripture. Bro. Oh, go ahead. Matthew 15 and 13. But he said unto, but he answered and said, every plant which my heavenly father have not planted shall be rooted up. That's that Egyptian shit. You ain't going nowhere saying you from Egypt. You gonna get destroyed preaching that bullshit. Go ahead. Okay. Let that, that, they ain't the only ones. All these motherfuckers you hear on coast to coast. You ever listen to radio shows like Coast to Coast or Red Ice? All these people talking about Egypt. Scripture, hey, what's bro. Up, the man? truth. Straight truth, oh, come bro. on, bro. Yeah. We prophets of the Lord out here pushing this truth, man. We prophets of the Lord out here pushing this truth. We got the Bible, dog. You got the Bible. We're come showing on, America. It's, it's, we're telling America how, why and it's going to be destroyed and how it's going to be destroyed, you know? Because this is going to happen. What did that say, Israel? Yeah. Israel. You're, you're an Israelite. That's the Lord's people right there. You're an Israelite. You're an Israelite. That's your nation, that, you know, nation. Every nation already has his name, man. This goddamn devil renamed everything by calling so-called calling us Negroes, like, African American. You like, know? like when you go to school in America, they teach all the black people they all came from Africa and they Egyptians. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's some bullshit. Okay, because black people in America come from the ancient Israelites. They don't come from no Egypt. They don't come from no goddamn Africa. You right. know what I'm saying? The, the Bible tell you where you're from, man. You're not an Egyptian. Now, there's you're reasons why we African. were in Africa, though. You're an Israelite. You know, we, we're not from there, but there are reasons why we are. We ended up in Africa at one time in history, you know? But anyway, we, uh, fleeing those Romans, um, they were come, they were, they were besieged in Jerusalem. So we fled out there into the interiors of Africa, as specifically West Africa. Where's your forefathers okay. from? Israel. Egypt. Hey, where's Jesus from? That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you know that? That's right. You're our That's brother. Right. Yeah. God, first, man, give me something. You know, a little scripture real quick, man. I got, got some scriptures right for you. Well, we was just talking about it. Let's we'll stay on track with the Egyptian stuff. Ooh, we know, this, is, this, is, it, okay. this is, go with it, man. Okay. This is, this is, with, this is still with it. Because, you know. Because earlier, right before you came up here, we was talking about, uh, Cause there's a big philosophy going around talk, that everybody's pushing this Egyptology madness, and we here to kill that. The people try to say, "Oh, the Bible come from Egypt, and uh, you know Jesus was Egyptian, and Moses was Egyptian." And so we we kill all the all those lies and all that madness. You know what I'm saying? Here you go. I'll go ahead with that. This is Galatians uh, 4 and 26, but Jerusalem, which is above, is free. Oh yeah. Which is the mother of us all. Jerusalem's the mother, they in Africa. People like, well, man, all, everybody come from Africa. No, everybody come from Jerusalem, which is the Garden of Eden, you know what I'm saying? You know what Jerusalem means? Jerusalem means the city of peace. Okay, the city of peace. Because Israel is the city of peace. Because we the children of the Most High, okay? Now, you, ain't gonna you only gonna have peace where you find the children of the Most High. You know what I'm saying? Cause these heathens don't know peace. Man, let me tell you, bro. I just moved over here from Virginia, man. And oh, Eric from young Virginia? Dude, yeah, I'm from no. Virginia, man. And Eric dude, young dude, man. I run into him, man. He like, you know, selling dope. Where you yeah, come yeah. from, you know what I'm New saying? York? Yeah. You look he like talk, New you know, York. He talking like, you oh, know, man. I'm like, bro. He like, bro, you want to make some money? Right. You know what I mean? I'm like, so what's up? You right, know, he right, like, right, right. And I know you keep you at their house open. They got flat screen. Nah, right, 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 right. I walked away like, you know what I'm saying? Because I ain't oh, have time yeah. with you to be. You, you know, know what I mean? Witches. Oh, you, right, you know these drug dealers are witches and warlocks. <laughs> right. 
They're witches and warlocks. That's yeah. what they are. The scriptures tell you that he don't suffer a witch to live, man. Kill them motherfuckers, man. But know, we can't kill them now. From Columbus. We can't I kill them. I mean, they kill their soul. Right? They selling their soul. Right, right, right. That's kind of the way how the Lord. And they using people to do But you know where the drug, all that cocaine, all the heroin, it all, you know, it all come from the CIA. Yeah, you think that's who shipping it in? That's why it's out here. The they want it out here. It wouldn't be out here. The so-called white it's man. It's out here. You walk up the street. You walk down there. And you can find it. Yeah, check this out. Check that's this how it's out. Set up to be. Check this out. Uh, America. When did we end up? First two times we ended up in Afghanistan. Oh two, oh three. Oh, they just said that Afghanistan is the longest war in America's right, history. Right. Right. And check it out. They ever since the government check this out. Ever since the U.S. been in, in Af ever since the U.S. been in Afghanistan, they're not there fighting terrorism. They're there to protect those poppy fields. They, yeah, they got they got news clips on Fox News where they saying that yeah we're we're out here protecting these poppy fields. Welcome back to Fox and Friends, Dave Briggs. He's Clayton Moore. She's Allison Camerata. We're gonna head to Afghanistan this morning. One of the biggest obstacles in front of the U.S. troops there in Afghanistan is the opium trade. The Taliban is using it to intimidate the population. Yeah. Joining us from Talmud Province is Geraldo Rivera. Good morning to you, uh, Geraldo. Tell us what you've seen during your days there in Afghanistan. Hi, Allison, Dave, and Clayton. Yes, in some ways, the Marines brilliantly executed invasion of Marja. This town in the middle of Helmand uh, Province was the easy part. The hard part now is governing this province, a province, as you suggest, that has become addicted to opium in many, many ways. That is the principal crop that is being grown here. Uh, the Taliban lend the farmers the money. They are indebted to the Taliban. They have to grow the opium. Now the Marines, in their success, are, in a sense, a victim of their success because now the population is, uh, you know, they have these opium fields, and we are tolerating it. We are tolerating the cultivation of the opium because we know that if we were to destroy it now, the population would turn against the Marines and it would be a real security risk. Let me introduce Lieutenant Colonel Brian Christmas. He's the commanding officer of the 3rd Battalion, 6th Marines. Uh, really a, a wonderful group of uh, Marines here. Uh, I know that you care deeply about this, uh, this contradiction, the fact that uh, here you have one of the best fighting forces in the world ever mounted. Uh, and in a sense, uh, you're watching as uh, this opium is being grown. I know it, it grinds at your gut. Uh, how do you deal with it? What are you doing about it? Well, uh, frankly, this is a part of their culture. So uh, while it might grind in my gut, it, it's what they do. Uh, we, we provide them security, we're providing them resources, and we're providing them alternatives. And the alternatives uh, are different crops to grow. They're getting the seed and the fertilizer to do it. Uh, they, can, they can rotate any of their crops uh, that they want. If they want to get rid of their wheat and grow cotton for the winter, they can do that, and we're going to help them do it. Uh, so the same thing goes for the pot. So you think that, uh, you know, we were at the market and everywhere we go, they're selling these little devices. Take a shot at this, Greg. Uh, they're uh, hand carved. These are the little devices they use to scrape the opium sap off the, uh, off the plant. And I watched as you bought every one that was for sale because you care so deeply. Why did you do that? Uh, well, I'm off the street. The idea is that uh, we don't want to harvest the poppy. We want to, you know, hopefully turn the poppy over and put some wheat, cotton, uh, watermelon, cucumber. Uh, it's all great stuff they grow out here. Uh, we just want to see that, uh, that come to fruition and, and the poppy just to go away. How do you separate the good guys from the bad guys? You know, I watched uh, uh, that uh, checkpoint you had. Uh, you, the cars are out on the road. That's the good news. The bazaars are coming back to life. That's the good news. But I don't know. How in the world do you tell a Taliban from uh, a guy who just lives in the neighborhood? Uh, you don't. They do. And, and I'll tell you, the majority of those people are good people. Um, the, the ones that are bad are, are really bad, and they've convinced some of the good people uh, to be bad and follow that. Uh, bottom line is most of them are on the fence, and it's just a matter of, of showing them the good, showing them the fact that the Jarrell government is here, it's going to make a difference, that we're here to help them with the, that security and those resources, uh, but they're the ones that are going to make the difference. Uh, so uh, there, there are a few bad people, the majority of them are good. But I really, I, I fault the politicians for putting the Marines in this position, uh, you know, where we can't eradicate these, uh, these crops uh, for security reasons, and these, uh, these guys, after winning the war, in a sense, now have to fight uh, this fight. But next year, hopefully it'll be better. I just want to quickly pan around, see some of the 3rd uh, Battalion 6th Marines. There's the master gunnery sergeant, uh, ranked enlisted man next to him. 
is uh, Captain Black. Uh, he had a visit. Quick, quick, who, who visited here a couple of weeks ago? Prince Charles came down a couple of weeks ago. And uh, the, 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 the Brits like him? I mean, you guys like him? Yeah, it's good that he came out, saw the guys, went out to the, uh, to the pops and uh, engaged the guys. That was good. good uh -huh. wrong. So we had a visit uh, from Prince Charles, uh, and the Marines are doing the good thing. Uh, Dave, Clayton, and Allison, back to you guys in New York. Thank you so much, Marlo. Marlo thanks so, so much. I mean, he just explains it better than we can ever read in any paper what a dilemma it is with we, the opium trade. And yeah, they make so much money off the opium per yard there. They make so much money compared to those yeah. other crops. So it sounds great in theory. And Geraldo says this predicament that these politicians have put these guys in to have to tell them, hey, make a lot less money than the heroin you could be making with right. the poppy. And, and they can't destroy it. Right. What, what a difficult position. All right. In the meantime, I do have your headlines for you. We Check this out. Ever since they got there, the rise of heroin here in the U.S. and it blew up. And that's, blew that, up. And that's that good shit, blew too. Up. It ain't no bullshit. It's some good shit. It ain't blew right. up. Right. Uncut. Yeah. More that uncut shit. That yeah. Afghanistan yeah. shit, that's the best shit. That's the, they grow the best poppy plants on the planet. And you know, you know, and it, and this heroin they said is more potent than the heroin that hit the 60s and the early 70s, man. Yeah, that's that good shit. Way more potent, man, you know? And that's some shit your body physically gets addicted to, not your mind like crack. Right, your yeah. body physically gets addicted. So these motherfuckers are they, they ain't number witches putting spells on people with these drugs, man. Yeah. So when the Lord gets here, he gonna kill these people, man. Yeah. He you gonna know, kill these people. Yeah, when you look up the word uh, drugs, in the, uh, now, excuse me, when you look up the word witchcraft in the Bible, when you look it up in the original, in the Greek, in the New Testament, the word for witchcraft, when you look it up in Greek, is uh, pharmakia. pharmakia. That's where you get pharmacy. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, 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 so the word there, for boy. witchcraft in the Bible is that it actually says uh, pharmakia. It's like you ain't supposed to be a, I mean, I engaged in uh, pharmaceuticals. I gotta look right. that up. You know what I'm saying? Cause that that's why these drug companies. Uh, check this out, bro. They got. Hey, hold up. Give me a Revelation two and nine, uh, two and ten real quick. If you, I'll get it. Actually, I got you. Getting that? I get this. Check this out, bro. Uh, in America, got more prisons than any other nation on earth. I just looked this up. To, America got like over two million prisoners. The second place is China. They only got like a million. And they got billions of people. We, they got way more people than us. So America is pretty much a concentration camp. But most of the people in prison is up in there for drugs. Now all these motherfuckers get locked up for drugs. But here, you, if you look on every street corner, there's a goddamn drugstore owned, owned by these rich white people. You can, they got CVS, they got Walmart sells drugs. They Walgreens. sell good shit too. By design, that bro. Oxycontin will get you fucked up. Yeah. So they, se design. they selling that good shit. You know what I'm saying? And they, they doing illegally, making billions of dollars. But these motherfuckers, they, they, if they want to sell a, just anything on the street, they get locked up. You know what yeah. I'm saying? When you go to the jails, who's in the jails? Us. <laughs> you know? But it's designed to lock us up because we don't want stupid enough to do that shit. Sell it and use it, you know? You know, that's just how Jake is, man. Jake loved getting high, man. But here's a scripture for you right here. Who's Jake? Jake, that's Israel. Jacob. for Jacob. You're Jake. Yeah. That's Israel. Jacob was, you His know, first. Jake. Yes, you, you are, are nigga. Jake is short for Jacob. That's, we, it's a slang. You, you are, are that's Jacob. That's characteristic of you're how Jacob you know we're Israelites because we use slang. Yeah. Where Jacob's, that's in the Bible. Jacob's name okay. was changed to Israel. Right. When you read the book of Genesis, we, that's how bad we were back in the day. That we was, I'm talking about physically, we can whoop ass. Now he was so bad that he gave this angel a hard time all through the night. So the angel had to <laughs> the angel had to use the spiritual power, put you know, discipline. You know, and he's told you, oh. and he told Jake, I'm renaming you Israel. Israel is Hebrew, uh, well, Hebrew is uh, uh, um, um, oh my God, I'm he's, a too fast. he's a prince of he's God. He's a prince of power, uh, Yahshua, Hebrew. He's a prince of God, prince of right, right. Prince of the power, right. Anyway, um, here you go right here. This is uh, Exodus 23 and 18. It's simple as this. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. He's supposed to put a witch to death. You know what I'm saying? But we're under Esau's rule, this goddamn devil's rule. So he allows faggots to walk free. He allowed people to go around uh, dressed as witches. You, I mean, there are literally, yeah. there are literally certain size societies in America that actually put on witch and walk around with brooms. Oh uh, yeah, like in Salem, you know up saying? in Salem, like, like Massachusetts. Right, right. Right. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. The Satanists, they walk down the street with goddamn upside down pentagrams on their t-shirts. Tattoos. Tattoos got the devil on their tattoos, uh -huh. and they walk around free, bro. And they tell you they worship the devil. That's okay though. What the fuck does the devil worshiper do? What do you think the fucking devil worshiper does? 
This motherfucker sacrificing children, doing some evil shit, Ooh. eating motherfuckers. Man, you know listen, what I'm saying? Hey, hey, listen, they worship Satan. You gotta put this in. You gotta picture this though. I Every think. day in the United States of America, cause it fluctuates up and down between 1,500 to 3,000. I said every day, 1,500 to 3,000 kids come up missing and never found again. Never, now, yeah. Where the fuck are they? Where they, where they at? See these all these lodges that are, they're holding in these churches, they're holding rituals. Yep. Plus all these pre-Masonic lodges. You got Columbus got like oh, man. Columbus uh, probably uh, got uh, uh, unknown, uh, unknown probably, number, man. It got a hundred. Look, I looked up how many just last night, that's the spirit. I was on the internet looking up all the Freemasonic lodges just in Columbus. And it it had like 50 of them. But Ooh. I knew of some that wasn't what, even on the what list. What is that? What's the Freemasons? Freemasons. They, Freemasons. They worship the they devil worship. What Jay Z is? Yep. Michael Jordan, Denzel Washington, Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal was on Sports Center bragging. Charles Barkley. Right. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Why do you think Muhammad Ali got that shaking disease? The Freemasons. The Freemasons, yeah. They're faggots. Yep. They're a bunch of homosexuals. Okay, that ain't the Masonic Temple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, that, that's that shit. That's that evil shit. Hey, can I yeah, that, those are the motherfuckers. America was founded by a Freemason. George Washington was a Freemason. I thought okay. they believe in like brotherly love. No, that's, that's, a, that's, a cover. Hell, no. that's just a cover. Hell that's just no, a cover. That's a cover. Wrong, my nigga. That's a covering. That's all it is. <laughs> and you pay the fees to them. Hell yeah. yeah you, you can't. You, you, can't, get, you, you can't become a part of them. You, you can't pass, become a part of them unless you go through these demonic ass rituals. Well, you first can't. Of all, there ain't no exceptions the, either. The first degree. The, the, the first, this is just to get initiated up in this motherfucker. You gotta put a noose around your neck. You gotta put a noose around your neck, and they come up to you with a blade and put it on your heart. This is my bus, man, and God bless y'all, bro. All right, All right brother, no, take it easy. Bus. We take you home. Come on, come on back here. We take you home, man. So, yeah, that's what that Sarah Suit said. Hey, he he into that Freemason shit. All them Egyptologists, mm -hmm. and they brag no, about it. They, no, they, no, they no. goddamn Freemasons. Y'all going through these goddamn satanic rituals. You know what I'm saying? Putting nooses around your necks, putting a, a, mother, a blade to your heart. Doing it all in secret up in a temple that ain't got no damn windows. Woo. Got, why you ain't got no windows up in the temples? Cause you hiding something. You, you ain't gonna do that ceremony out in the middle of the street. The Lord in the Bible said you don't do nothing in secret. Everything we do, we do it out in the open. We ain't holding no knowledge back. We ain't keeping no knowledge secret. We giving you all the knowledge all out in the open. There ain't nothing secret about this truth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You gotta pay to get that shit from him, though. Yeah, you gotta pay. You gotta buy the DVDs. You gotta buy the books. You gotta buy that. You know what I'm saying? You gotta buy this and buy that. What they say? The truth is... That's an old ghetto proverb. The truth is to be told, not to be sold. That was Snoop Dogg, my nigga. Man, that should go way back. That shit back from... No, that was that's Snoop Dogg. That's from the Dog, goddamn God 18th century. No, that was Snoop Dogg. When man, he came Snoop out Dog with our masterpiece shit, he said the game is to be <laughs> sold, not Snoop to be told, nigga. Motherfucker, Snoop don't know shit. That's why Snoop... Snoop knows more shit than motherfucker. He know, he's a faggot. goddamn faggot. No, he knows more shit than two-thirds. Oh, this is it right here. He is two-thirds. This is bad right here. And this is another short and simple preset. Ephesians 5 and 12. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. It's a motherfucking shame. Oh yeah, right. That's some Freemasons. Do it's y'all, y'all, y'all some shameful motherfuckers. They got man. all you an Egyptologist. Where you can't see through doing their all, windows. These motherfuckers is evil. But we're gonna get back to the Egyptologists. Like I made a point earlier, I want to get back to it real quick because I ain't gonna bring my scripture out. Now, like I said, if you claim to be Egyptian. And you claim to be a pharaoh. Oh, I got a question from Polite, Sam Supersetti, Saad Netter, all of you mother... I know y'all say I'm a cracker. I don't give a fuck. But yeah, I'm a cracker. If I, I'm a cracker-ass cracker, but ask me this. Are you married to your motherfucking sister? Because all the pharaohs married their sister. You know what I'm saying? You call me a cracker all you want, but you saying that you a pharaoh. That means you an inbreeding motherfucker, man. So... You ain't got shit to say. That's yeah, just a common practice that the Egyptians did. Marry, marry every family. last Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. and they had to keep it in the family. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And not only did they call, marry their sister, but they made, forced the people to worship them as gods. Right. Then they put everybody in slavery. They forced them to build giant monuments to the Pharaoh. <coughs> and they was boasting. Yeah, man, they was a bunch of tyrants, man. They were tyrants. 
All they're doing the same thing the Babylonians did, man. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all Babel. Doing. The yeah. same Egyptians, the Egyptians doing the same shit the nasty ass Babylonians. I got this scripture for us right here. Yeah. It's Leviticus 18 and 6. None of you shall approach to any that is near of kin to him. Near of kin, okay? That means your family. <laughs> to uncover their nakedness. I am the Lord. Every time you see Lord in, the, uh, in all caps in the Bible, Yahweh. it says Yahweh. That's the name of the Most High. It don't say no goddamn Osiris, no motherfucking horse, no goddamn Isis. It don't say the woman. Wrong. It don't say no Ra. Actually, Yahweh. Actually, the word Ra in Hebrew, which is really Ra or Re, in Hebrew, Ra means evil. Okay? Yeah, how In I Hebrew, the word Ra means yeah, evil. Alright? Now, we're going to get this. Leviticus 18 and 7. The nakedness of thy father or the nakedness of thy mother, thou shalt not uncover. She is thy mother. Them Egyptians, they, they fucking homosexuals. They fuck their father. Baggage. That ain't no different than the Macedonians and Alexander and them. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know how no, Philip was probably... Bag. Come on, bro. Philip was probably molesting Alexander. Why do you think uh, Ptolemy... Why do you think the Ptolemies loved living in Egypt so much? Because they could finally live like the Egyptians. Because, you know what I'm saying? They, not, they, they wanted to be a pharaoh so they could finally marry their sister. Marry their mother and shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because they couldn't do that back in Greece. The Macedonia. You know what I'm saying? Let me get this. Uh, the nakedness of thy father's wife shall thou not uncover. It is thy father's nakedness. The nakedness of thy sister, the daughter of thy father, or the daughter of thy mother, wh whether she be born at home or born abroad, even their nakedness, that shalt thou not uncover. So the Bible says you ain't supposed to uncover your sister's nakedness. There's a law in the Bible that says you're not allowed to have sex with your sister, let alone marry her and have children with her, man. It, okay, so all the Egyptian pharaohs, not just one of them, because I can understand like way back in time there was only a few people and so there was a little incest going on back in the beginning, you know what I'm saying? You know, after the flood, there had to be a little something going on. But these motherfuckers kept fucking their sisters for thousands of years. <laughs> that, how long was the Egyptian Empire around for? Like two, three thousand years? Two, three, th yeah, three thousand, This motherfucking yeah. shit went on for three thousand goddamn years, and the, sister, the pharaoh married his sister for three thousand years straight. You gonna call yourself a goddamn Egyptian? All the way up to uh, yeah, Cleopatra, huh? All the way up to Cleopatra. Yep. What's your boy? Uh, uh, damn, I forgot his name. The, uh, the Roman Emperor uh, Caligula. Caligula was fucking the shit out of us. You can see that in the movie. Yeah, Caligula. Uh, yeah, because Caligula was the Roman Emperor. He was crazy out of his fucking mind, <laughs> and he was fucking his sister and the horse. And his sister, yeah, and his horse. He made his horse the senator. Oh. You know what I'm saying? What? Yeah, that's I, mean, I ain't know that. That's right. I ain't know that. It was a project. He wasn't the only one. There was other ones that did the same thing. He just shit. made his horse a senator. Yeah, yeah that motherfucker was crazy. He was out of his goddamn mind. Yeah, he was damn and sure his, out of his heat You watched that movie in Caligula. His sister was begging. His sister begged him to go to Egypt so they could get married. Because it had been, been the custom in Egypt for thousands of years to marry your sister. So who the fuck wanna call themselves an Egyptian? You, you, you gotta be out your fucking mind with that shit, man. <laughs> you gotta call yourself an Egyptian worshiping a book, the Apis bull. You can read in the Bible, Moses smashed that damn Apis bull to pieces. And then after the Israelites came out of Egypt, they actually built a bull made out of gold and started worshiping it. You gotta be out your mind to build a statue of someone and worship it. Like it's actually gonna do something for you. That's what they think. But that's how all the heathens did they it. They feed them and everything. Cause, you know, the ancient Canaanites, they worship the bull god too. The ancient Babylonians, they worship the bull god. The Egyptians was doing the same shit that all them ancient pagan cultures was doing, man. There was a bunch of goddamn heathens. You know what I'm saying? A bunch of, a bunch of homosexuals. A bunch of fucking filthy heathens. That's where they was. Oh, you got more? What you got? I'm trying to find it. Yeah. I got a scripture. Oh, I got it. I'll go ahead. Um, Watch out, don't, where I'm don't run up in the street, bro. Okay, uh, this is, uh, this is uh, Ezekiel. Um, Yo, get out of the damn street, man. Uh, this is Ezekiel 5 and 8. I'm glad he's gone from this. 
Yeah, we start down first. Yeah, get it up, get, bring it all out. Some good shit. It's man. all fire. See, I noticed something too, all these Egyptologists. I noticed something about all these people who claim to be they Egyptian. They quote the Bible more than they quote that motherfucking Egyptian shit. I ain't never hear them quote no Dead Sea Scrolls in the middle of a speech. You know what I'm saying? That, everybody always quotes the Bible. If you notice that, because your speech s sound way better when you quote the Bible, because you know the Bible got, the words got power. Okay. Then them motherfucking Egyptian hieroglyph bullshit ain't got no power. Every time I read some hieroglyphs, it's talking about some dumb shit. It don't even make no goddamn sense. Ain't nothing poetic about it. Ain't nothing inspiring about it. Just a bunch of bullshit. Oh, go ahead. Ezekiel 5 and 5. Thus said the Lord Power. This is Jerusalem. And that's Jerusalem. The niggas that are pushing that Egyptian shit. Um, I have... S well, they don't, they're Egyptian. Let's just put it that way. If, if you're an Egyptian, you're going right, to go into slavery. Heathen. You know, the Lord does call for uh, uh, Israelites heathens. So, <laughs> yeah. You know? yeah they, want, they want to be Gentiles. I mean, that's a, that's a long-standing <laughs> tradition is the Israelites joining forces with the goddamn heathens <laughs> and following after the custom of a fucking heathen. Well, ain't nothing cool about it either. No, it ain't nothing. Nah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's two-thirds right there. <laughs> two-thirds Ben did that. It ain't nothing new, man. Right, right. Y'all been following the ways of the heathen. Right. This yeah. <laughs> for this thousands is, of years. Right. This is Jerusalem. I have set it in the midst of the nations and countries that are round about her, and she had changed my judgments into wickedness. Yeah, because even back in the ancient world, Israel had heathens on all sides. They had goddamn Egypt to the south, you know, Canaan to the north. You know what I'm saying? Goddamn Kush to the motherfucking east. Here ain't Moab. So you, you got heathens on all sides, so Israel was following the ways of them goddamn heathens, man. Uh, sa sacrificing children to Baal. And Baal, that's just another word for Osiris or Horus. You know, it's the same shit. Sacrifice children to some false gods. Go ahead. Um, and she have changed my judgments into wickedness more than the nations, and my statutes more than the countries that are round about her. For they have refused my judgments and my statutes they have not walked it in them. Like part of the statues. The Egyptians ain't walk after the statues of the Lord. Like I said, all the pharaohs were married to their fucking sister. I'm gonna keep bringing that out too, because I don't think y'all are understanding the ramifications of this shit, man. If you ain't understanding the significance of inbreeding, okay? I'm talking about pharaohs, your leader, they claim to be God, the pharaoh claim to be Horus in the flesh. But all, they was all married to their sister. What the fuck is that? I can't wrap my mind around that shit, man. Go ahead. Well, you know, those fucking faggots will come back and say, oh, motherfucker, I'm not fucking my sister. Well, you push a, a philosophy of that, that fucks their sister. You know what and I'm saying? And they give praises to the Pharaoh. They right. tell me they right. was great men. They built the, you know, all the monuments and shit. You the know Pharaoh ain't built shit. Israel built that shit. Yeah, Israel built that shit. Right. We were in captivity. We were in bondage. Which Israel, Egypt means bondage. E Egypt does mean bondage. Right. America is spiritually known as Egypt. I got the scripture right. for that too. Go ahead with that. Okay. Um, Therefore, thus said the Lord Power, because you multiply more than the nations that are round about you and have not walked in my statutes, neither have kept my judgments, neither <laughs> have done according to the judgments of the nations that are round about you. Therefore, thus said the Lord Power, behold, I, even I am against thee, and I will execute judgments in the midst of thee in the sight of the nations. So yes, yeah, so you want to join forces with the nations? Well, the Lord going to destroy you in the sight of the nations. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. And I will do in thee that which I have done, and whereunto I will not do any more the like, because of all thine abominations. Yeah, so calling yourself an Egyptian is an abomination. Be selling the fuck out, becoming a Freemason, uh, participating in secret uh, secret rituals, partic participating in secret fraternities. That's some evil shit, man. Go ahead. Therefore the fathers shall eat the sons in the midst of thee. Cause they made a big deal out of that, how, uh, how they uh, saying, why we gonna eat our children? It's too hard to explain it to them. But and they still didn't get it. But hold up, but hold up. <laughs> Have y'all ever seen the movie The Road? Watch the movie The Road. I don't give a fuck. All you wicked motherfuckers, when, when, when the economy collapses, society breaks down, there ain't no fucking food in the stores, there ain't no damn EBTs, there ain't no food stamps. 
Okay, there's gonna be cannibalism. And people of all colors, they're gonna be eating each other. Okay, black people gonna eat motherfuckers. Everybody, uh, the only people that's right with the most high ain't gonna do that shit, okay? Cause you, you got wicked, you got Israelites who's more wicked than the goddamn white man. You got Israelites who's more wicked than Esau. Jeremiah, Especially these, these evil ass fucking uh, bitches, man, these women. The women gonna be the first ones to be uh, engaging in cannibalism. You know what I'm saying? You After you go, they go uh, like a, uh, about a week with no food, they gonna, they gonna start doing some evil shit, man. And it's happened all throughout history and all civilizations. So that's what happens when society breaks down, ain't no food. It will be cannibalism. The most high about to give this place a spiritual ass with. Like I said, go watch that movie, The Road. Hey, about to give this place a spiritual, physical, it, and a mental. Spiritual. <laughs> that's part of that punishment, too. Ain't nothing like a spiritual ass whooping, man. And not only that, but you might not eat people, but you, the Lord might send some evil motherfuckers to eat your ass. And he gonna have somebody eat you for you being wicked and not following his commandments. That could be a punishment is you getting to eat, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna talk shit about the Bible. Talking about, oh, they, the Bible says there's people eating. Well, motherfucker, you gonna get ate. You gonna be someone's motherfucking lunch. Hey, we can't wait till this happens. They, they gonna slice your ass up on a motherfucking, uh, what's the meat slicer? They gonna put your damn leg up on a meat slicer. Some turn some your ass, up. They gonna turn your ass in some chip chop motherfucking ham. They, they, gonna, they gonna turn your ass in a bologna, bologna strip. Slicer. Them on hell, bro. They gonna put tomatoes and onions on your ass. <laughs> That's gonna happen. That's part of the hey, punishment. It's happen, man. That's part, of, especially you weak motherfuckers, man. Yeah. You spineless, you little faggot, little little feminine, little uh, little uh, pussy whip motherfuckers. You little, what's that? I, you goddamn bronies. Yeah, let me get this. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Part of this truth is you're supposed to pray for this shit to happen. And we you do, know? we do pray that happens to the enemies of the Lord. That's right. If you the enemy of the Lord, if you coming against the Most High, if you coming against the truth. We, we pray all kind of evil shit happen to you, man. We pray that, we pray that when this when society breaks down, your ass gets thrown up in a pot and they make some stew out of you, man. We, we pray you get hit by a semi-truck, okay? <laughs> we, we pray the cops beat your ass. We pray motherfucking, uh, man, the, the, the terror of the Lord is endless. The scripture says that we gonna meditate terror. There you go, bro. What's that, there, Isaiah? Uh, I'll go ahead with that. This is 2 Peter 3 and um, 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversations and godliness? Yeah, so we know this destruction's coming, okay? We know some evil shit's about to go down. And since we know this, how are you supposed to act? Okay, because if you ain't acting properly, the Lord's gonna fuck you up, man. There you go. He, he, gonna, send all, he gonna send all the plagues listed up in, in the Holy Bible. That's right, that's right. 12, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High, we're in the heavens. Oh yeah, and the Most High is warning you too. He giving you a warning. Mm -hmm. The ancient Egyptians, they ain't warn your ass, okay? They ain't tell you to, you know what I'm saying, look for the pestilence. There ain't no prophecies in that bullshit, they Egyptology bullshit. There ain't no prophecies in it, man. Yeah, yeah, the Egyptians, they weren't crying for the oppressed, you know what I'm saying, pleading that the Lord destroys the wicked, you know what I'm saying? Because they was a goddamn wicked. Go ahead. Egyptology. Crazy shit. Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. So, so the Bible tell you that everything's gonna melt with that fervent heat. The heavens is gonna be on fire. That's talking about those thermonuclear missiles. Cause soon the Lord, he gonna destroy America, okay? That's what's coming. That's a prophecy in the Holy Bible. You can't stop it, okay? You ain't learn about that prophecy. In the motherfucking Book of the Dead. It wasn't written on no goddamn pyramid or an obelisk. You know what I'm saying? It's in the Holy Bible. Mm. Go ahead with that. Actually, mm -hmm. there, there ain't even no hieroglyphs up in the pyramid, is it? You notice that? Ain't no hieroglyphs on the fucking pyramid? Oh, yeah, I noticed that too. The yeah, Egyptians yeah. ain't built that shit, man. I think there's a little bit, but they said it was forged or something. I'm gonna look that shit up. Go ahead with that. Yeah, anything that's probably the only now is from uh, Arabs put it there. No. Nope. You know. I actually, I pray the Arabs, them goddamn Muslims, they said they was going to blow the pyramids up, you know. I pray to the Most High that they line that whole motherfucking pyramid up with some TNT. Oh, 
blow that shit the fuck up, bro. Blow that shit down to the ground. Yeah, I want to blow that shit up. I want to do that. Goddamn pile of rocks. Because it's going to get wiped off this planet, those uh, pyramids. The pyramids, yeah, they're going to get fucked up. The pyramids are going to be destroyed. Ain't going to be no remnant of it, uh, Jacob being in slavery when we take it. Yeah, that, all that is is a memory of our uh, slavery. Every time we look on the back of a dollar bill, we got to be reminded of our enslavement when we see that goddamn pyramid. Nigga, I got a, full, I got a pocket full of ones, man. You mean like, I can't have that in the kingdom? Got the goddamn, it didn't pull light. Got the motherfucking... Pollute. Horus is all, all seeing eye on his fucking face. You know what I'm saying? He just pledges allegiance to the devil. You know what I'm saying? He probably says the pledge of allegiance every day when he wakes up. Got the flag up in his room. I pledge allegiance to the flag. Got his right hand on his Yeah, he got his right <laughs> with, with his eye of horse on his shit. You know, because he down with that Benjamin Franklin Freemason shit, man. He down with the Hellfire Club. You, you know see what that shit? You see the video when he put his bitch on? Um, say the woman can produce semen and, and have a baby on her own. You gotta be a stupid motherfucker. That's bug the fuck out. If yep. you actually think a woman, look, if a, 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 okay, if a woman can have a baby on her own, how come all these bitches on Maury Povich's show? Is that that show, Maury Povich? Right. Yeah. yeah. How come Maury, all these hoes the is father. looking for their baby's daddy if they making these babies on their own? <laughs> how come we all paying child support? If these fucking bitches is making babies on their own. That was stupid as hell. Man, yeah, you, she made an ass for herself. You should have whooped that your bitch's ass when she said that shit. You should whoop your. Uh, you should smack your goddamn self for Wait. allowing that shit to transpire. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This actual video is on all over the net now. Man, Polite, you should be ashamed of your goddamn self. It's man. when they were bickering today. It's when they was debating with IUCC, CK faggots, and she was like, "Yeah, it's a scientific fact that uh, women don't need man, and they can um, we can produce well, hold babies on our own." You know, Polite, do not that motherfucker follow Dr. York? Yeah, and do yeah. he, he got a lot of his teachers from Dr. York, and Dr. York, they got videos on YouTube of Dr. York. In court, admitting he admitting that he molested children. He he got it on tape. He got the video. We got the video. It's on tape. There's witnesses. He's in the court, and he admitted that he molested children. You understand you're charged with 40 counts of aggravated child molestation. If you could receive, receive a maximum sentence of 30 years in confinement for each count, that you're charged with 34 counts of child molestation. If you could receive a maximum sentence of 20 years in confinement for each count. That you're charged with one count of sexual exploitation of children, and you could receive a maximum sentence of 20 years in confinement. And you're charged with two counts of influencing witnesses, and you could receive a maximum sentence of 10 years in confinement for each count. And that you could receive a minimum sentence overall of 10 years on probation. I'm telling you the most and the least. Do you understand that? Actually, Your Honor, it would be 10 years in I got a child station in the middle of this county. Sir, I'm on the name of the Do you understand that? And that? You understand you have a right to an attorney, and in fact, your lawyer, Mr. Aurora, is here with you and representing you. Is that correct? I'm going to inform you of certain other rights that you have, Mr. York, and inform you of the fact that if you plead guilty, you give up these rights. You have a right to trial by jury. You're presumed to be innocent. You have a right to confront any witnesses the state presents against you. You have a right to subpoena any witnesses you want to appear and testify for you. You have a right to testify and offer other evidence if you want to. You have a right to the assistance of an attorney during the trial. You have a right not to incriminate yourself. You have a right to plead not guilty or remain silent, not in any plea, and in either case, automatically obtain a jury trial. You understand these rights, and understand if you plead guilty, you give up these rights. You heard the recommendation the state made. Is that the recommendation you understood the state would make? Did you, in fact, do what the district attorney, Mr. Bright, told me you did? How do you plead, guilty or not guilty? As to all the indictments that were cited by the district attorney. 
Did anybody force you or threaten you in any way to cause you to enter this guilty plea? Did anyone promise you anything to cause you to enter this guilty plea? Are you satisfied with the services of your attorneys, not only Mr. Aurora, but your other attorneys? Were you able to hear and understand my statements and questions to you? He's on the old lady matters, please. <clears throat> Your Honor, we've drawn up this it's for trial not guilty plea, it's your guilty plea. And uh, it comes down to the Buffalo Defendant Bus Stop case, withdraws his plea of not guilty in this case, places the constitutional rights of the police guilty as charged the offenses of. I've already enumerated those on the record. They're the same ones I've enumerated on before, Your Honor. I signed on behalf of the state. I'm passing the sign on behalf of the state. Freely, voluntarily, and knowing that there was a factual basis for your plea, and I accept your plea. Yeah, but people try to say he got uh, tortured, and they forced him to make that confession. They wanted that sweet deal. Hey, the, hey, the Lord went. Uh, he he didn't confess when they put him on the cross. Not confess, but he he didn't bow down to the uh, Romans. He didn't he didn't bow down to the Caesar. He didn't. The Lord ain't bow down to the rabbi. He cursed their asses out, man. He, he said, "Fuck you, motherfuckers!" Till his death. He did not. That, that's how a true soldier does. Not like no. That tells you that Dr. York was a faggot. If he, if, say he actually did get set up, that tell you that he ain't got no spine and he ain't got no backbone. He's a faggot. He had, he was not even a man. He was just a bitch from the, from the get. And he looked like a big fucking weirdo. You ain't gonna catch me following no goddamn Dr. York. You gotta be out your goddamn, you gotta be high on PCP and fucking bath salts to, to even listen to a single word that motherfucker says, man. That tells you how stupid and bugged out you motherfuckers are. Hey, niggas always looking for something deep. The polite is bugged out his goddamn fucking brain. And he looked like a god. He looked like a black Kermit the Frog. You know what I'm saying? Look ribbit. You know what I'm saying? Look, looking like a goddamn muppet. Looking like motherfucking E. T. No, polite looked like that nigga uh, Dave Chappelle, the crackhead yeah, Dave Chappelle. Yeah, he looked like yeah. What was his name on the? Uh, uh, Ty, he taught goddamn Tyrone Biggins. Tyrone. Mm, peanut butter and crack sandwich. Mm. <laughs> Peanut butter crack sandwich. God damn. Peanut butter crack sandwich. That's that let, me get the, let me get this scripture real quick. I'll hey, Parker, you hold this one time? I got you, I got you. You, you, uh, hold on, hold on. We gotta be careful with this camera. It's some janky shit. I'll go ahead. We're talking, we talking about all that construction. <laughs> this is Zephaniah 1 and 14. The great day of the Lord is near. It is near and hasteth greatly. And when you look that word Lord up, in the Hebrew, it says Yahweh. It don't say no goddamn Osiris, or no motherfucking uh, Isis, no goddamn Raw, okay? Read that again, bro. Zephaniah 1 and 14, the great day of the Lord is near. So the day of the Lord is near, okay? Keep going. It is near and hasteth greatly. And it hastes greatly, okay? No, that's why the scriptures say time is short. We ain't got a whole lot of time to be bullshitting. So that's why we just gonna curse you Egyptologists the fuck out. We gonna keep a pushing. You know what I'm saying? Y'all a bunch of goddamn weirdos. 
Keep going. Even the even the voice of the day of the Lord. The voice, but yo, yo, on his Egypt ship, wrapping yourselves up like some mummy. Hold up, y'all call yourselves some Egyptians. How come none of y'all wrapping yourselves up like a, like a mummy when you die? When your little kids die, how about y'all go go get a rod, stick it up his nose, and pull out his brain, and do that to your little bit and wrap his ass up with some bandages? You gonna do that to your little baby when he die? I, if you, you ain't doing that, you ain't Egyptian, okay? If you ain't wrapping your little baby and your cats and dogs too, when your dog dies, you gotta wrap it up like a mummy and pull its brains out and his organs. You know what I'm saying? But you ain't no real Egyptian if you ain't doing that. Keep going. The mighty man shall cry there bitterly. Oh, so the mighty, that the mighty man, that's talking about the military, the, the elite. That's really go, the mighty man is really the elite, the bankers, the east, all these motherfuckers controlling the world. Keep going. That day is a day of wrath. The Illuminati. A Keep, day of trouble and distress. So the day of the Lord's a day of distress and trouble. Y'all gonna be troubled. Y'all gonna get fucked up. Keep going. A day of wasteness and desolation. It's gonna be nothing but desolation. Y'all, y'all, and y'all can get mad because we say we say the word fuck. Well, y'all go, you, 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 you gonna say fuck too when you see that desolation? Just like they were saying full shit, oh fuck, when they got fucked up in the Philippines. That goddamn typhoon came through and fucked them Filipinos up. The Lord fucked their asses up. There's all kind of wickedness going on over there in the Philippines, man. All them goddamn whores out there. The Philippines ain't nothing but a big ass whorehouse. Shit, all them homosexuals over there. Homosexuals, all the, yeah, yeah. all them, all the soldiers over there, uh, fucking little boys. That's a foul ass place. They, they got whorehouses over there with number of little boys up in it. You see how it look, man? It look like it looked like a. Uh, it don't even look like a hurricane hit there. It just look like a massive earthquake. Look, it looked like they got hit up, by man. a goddamn bomb or something. It looked like a bomb or it went, off, went off there, man. It looked like Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Cause half, the U.S. bomb. Because half them Philippine, the, the Filipino motherfuckers, half of them are goddamn Israelites. Because right. that's Jake been going over to the Philippines because yeah, yeah. the United States colonized that motherfucker a long time ago. And it, we done had servicemen going over there fucking the shit out of those women and all them goddamn whores for the past hundred damn years. So all the Filipinos have to, they all Israelites. A lot of, they, that's why the Lord fucked their asses up. Keep going. That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess. So the day of the Lord ain't gonna be a nice day. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a nice day for the elect. If you keeping the, the laws of the most, if you have, if you got faith in the most high, you're gonna be all right. But, but you, if you calling yourself an Egyptian, you ain't you ain't, you ain't gonna be doing too good. Right, and yet the, the, <laughs> the Philippines is just all. another small example of the day of the a Lord. Small That's example. Just a small example, but ain't nobody, man, ain't nobody paying the, taking no heed in that, man. Nobody cares, man. That's over there. It ain't gonna happen. Oh right, shit! Attitude, just just like the Lord yeah. fucked up them Jakes in Japan. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, and that's yep. why that all that goddamn radiation from Japan is is uh 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 it's ready to hit the west coast. Hey shit! That doctors over there said all of Japan needs to be evacuated. They right? they been said that. Yeah, they saying all of Japan, but they ain't going nowhere, man. So their kids are gonna be start getting born with all kind of mutations and shit. Right, right. Cause they already had uh they already got fucked up from the World War Two. They've been, they was born fucked up, born in incest. Yep. <laughs> Shit. Retarded children, down children, children. A whole nation of down children. Go ahead. A day of clouds and thick darkness. Mm. A day of the trumpet and alarm against yeah, the we're, we're blowing that trumpet cities. out here now with this truth. Yeah, we warning y'all motherfuckers. You know, we, said we out here to continuously, so consistently. Uh, you know? Like them Egyptologists, they're not warning you to come in destruction. They trying to tell everybody they're going to get their community together. <laughs> they're going to get that, you know, fuck your community. You we know what? know about the community, God. The Most High is about to destroy your fucking community. You mm -hmm. think it looks bad now with trash everywhere and boarded up buildings? Well, it's about to be turned to a fucking pile of ashes. They, there's no hope. For your fucking community, okay? Get that through your motherfucking head. There's no hope for the goddamn community. There, there's no hope for all, there's no hope for none of this shit. God's about to destroy this shit from the face of the earth. I mean, you, we gotta say it in plain English. Keep it simple. We gonna we gonna speak plain raw English, okay? Keep it simple. Go ahead. A day of the trumpet and alarm against the fence cities and against the high towers. So these motherfuckers over here getting the community together. Think they gonna uh, we gonna start businesses and we gonna start to flourish. You ain't gonna flourish. You gonna be goddamn destroyed. Cause y'all ain't nobody ain't none of y'all talking about the missiles. 
You ain't talking about this World War Three that's about to go down. You ain't talking about none of this shit, cause that's what that's what's happening. We, we in reality, we we speak on things dealing with reality. Ain't nothing they pushing control. You can profit from you, nothing. Yeah. nothing. Nothing. Y'all don't. Nothing. Cause they must can't, not pay attention can't, to the news. Can't retire off that knowledge they talking about. They must. <laughs> they must. They must have never heard of ICBMs. Just get on. Get on Google. And believe me, they exist. They call it ICBMs. Yeah. Intercontinental Ballistic Motherfucking Missiles. Okay, look that shit up. <laughs> Go ahead with that. Yeah. Zephaniah 1 and 17. And I will bring distress upon men, that they shall walk like blind men, because they have sinned against the Lord, and their blood shall be poured out as dust. Yeah, that's your boy Politan, and they blind. The blind lead the blind. Everybody know that scripture. Go ahead. I got, I got, and I got that scripture. I pulled it. Oh, uh, you, you already that's read that? I'll, uh, I'll get it again. I'll go and get it. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Keep going, go ahead. Keep going with that. Top. Zephaniah Shit, 1 and yeah. 17. Yeah, I, I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord and their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as the dung. The flesh? Y'all going to look like a pile of shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Like a pile of dog shit. Keep going. Neither their, neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them. Oh, because they always come out get money. They're going to, all these Egypt motherfuckers, these Kemet motherfuckers, all they care about is getting paid, making that money, selling DVDs. You know what I'm saying? They're going to hold debates. You know, pins. Yeah, we're going to. They, they sell a lot of bullshit. These are motherfucking hustlers, man. Yeah, t shirts. Mm -hmm. We ain't selling nothing out. Yeah, we selling the truth. We give it away for free. Go ahead. Neither Not like that faggot up on Livingston Avenue that owns that bookstore, man, pushing that Egyptology shit. And they all they all got a price though. That, that nigga high. Hell yeah, that's your highest. Well, the knowledge too, costs money. That nigga highs when I come up in that store, man, because I'm always trying to battle with it. They ain't no different than uh than motherfuckers like Michael Tassarian and shit that's all, selling that's all, DVDs. He's the same. The Michael Tassarian, he a wicked ass Israelite. He into that yep, Egypt yep. shit too, you know oh, what I'm saying? Yep, yep, it's all yep. to that Egyptian shit, that astral pyramid bullshit. Yep, yep. You know what I'm saying? All that consciousness. They are talking about consciousness all the goddamn that time. Con that shit is black. Talking about that, that ancient geometry. That, right. I got that ancient right. mystery, son. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? That shit is called black unconsciousness. Yeah. That's you unconscious. Means. You gotta be unconscious to believe that shit. <laughs> right, right. Here you go. You gotta Let be me read this real quick. I'll go ahead. You gotta be you high. Got more of that. No, let me finish this. Oh, song. go ahead. Okay. My mom was done. Of course. Zephaniah 1 and 18. Neither their silver nor gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord. Because them motherfuckers got big money, man, because they offer the elders first 1500 then they offer them $2,000 just to come to, Damn. to their uh, to their debate. And that's really talking you know? about Esau, so man. We, we ain't got no money. Like, we ain't got yep. no fucking $2,000 to be giving nobody, man. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, right. you ain't got 2000 I You know what I could do? I could start a goddamn business I'll with $2,000. i that a month. <laughs> uh, yeah, I buy all kinds. Yeah, I